Divine forces are always helping us when we're doing the right thing. Let me be real with you. There are people out there who don't want to see you succeed. They don't want you to do better than them or make that big money. Unfortunately, that's just how life goes. But remember, you're on your own journey to success and you are blessed. However, here's something you need to know. The people closest to you, not strangers or people far away, are often the ones who care about you the most, but also have mixed feelings about your success. This is because of jealousy, a mix of love and hate. They love you, but they struggle with the fact that you're growing, becoming stronger and chasing your dreams. They might not have a vision for themselves, and it bothers them that you do. They'll throw obstacles your way, trying to slow you down or drain your energy, even if they don't realize they're doing it. They want to slow you down. They think if they ignore you, if they don't acknowledge your hard work or give you credit, it'll upset you. They hope it'll make you lose focus and start thinking about them instead. But they know you're not thinking about them because you're always focused on your goals. You're not looking back. You're locked in on where you're going. You're focused on your progress, your growth, and your next move. You don't have time to worry about what they're doing or what they think. This bothers them because you're no longer giving them your attention. They're still stuck where you used to be and they don't like that you've moved on. Deep down, they want you to acknowledge them, but they're frustrated because you've outgrown them. They wish they were in a position where they could be recognized as the best, but instead they see you moving forward while they're left behind. People in your life don't want to acknowledge that you're winning, that you're the best at what you do. They don't want to recognize you as the queen or the top dog. Take your closest friends, for example, especially if you're a woman. Even your best friends might struggle to admit that you're the queen, that you're successful. Do you think they want to bow down and acknowledge your success? Absolutely not. So as you climb to the top, you might notice they stay quiet and you'll start wondering why they're not helping or supporting you. The truth is, they're nervous. They're worried about your success because you're going places and you've got a vision. You're in their thoughts even when they sleep because they see you moving forward while they're stuck. You're fighting your battles and not everyone is going to cheer you on. But you keep pushing forward because you know where you're headed. This is why you might feel lonely or abandoned at times. Your family and friends may seem like they've left you out in the cold. They want to see if you're truly the one who can make it. They see your progress and know you're on your way up. They love you, but there's a mix of jealousy and admiration. They're testing you, watching to see if life will break you down. Deep down, they're rooting for you, cheering you on when no one else is around. But in public, they might not acknowledge your success. They see your posts, hear your new music, or watch your videos, but they won't say a word. Trust me, they're paying attention. They're your biggest fans and, at the same time, your biggest critics. The reality is, the loudest support might come from people you don't even know. People who see what you're doing and appreciate it without any of that complicated love and hate mix. Sometimes, it's the strangers who will openly celebrate your success, while those closest to you struggle with it in silence. I'm not your family, but I see your hard work, and I support it because I understand that others may not know where you came from. This journey you're on is about testing your faith. When you're going through tough times, when it feels like you're not catching any big breaks or getting the support you need, there's a reason for it. God is showing you that he's going to turn your challenges into something that lifts you up. All the setbacks, obstacles and difficulties you face, they're there for a purpose. If you didn't go through these tough times, you wouldn't be as strong or as prepared for what's coming next. God gives his hardest battles to his strongest warriors. So if your dream or success feels like it's taking longer than others, don't worry. That means something big is on the way. Your blessing is going to be greater because you've had to wait longer and work harder for it. You might see others getting their success before you and wonder why. You might think you're better, more talented and deserve it more. But the reason you're seeing all this is because your blessing is going to be much bigger. You've got more patience, more talent and more resilience and that's why your reward is going to be greater. When you face more adversity, understand that God is allowing these challenges to help you level up. Every negative experience is making you stronger, faster, wiser, and more experienced. Instead of being frustrated, be thankful for these tough times. They're shaping you into a better version of yourself. Even the people who hate on you are doing you a favor. 
Their negativity is like fuel for your success. Every time they doubt you or talk down about you, it's pushing you to work harder and get better. So instead of getting upset, clap for your haters. They're motivating you to create, to succeed, and to grow richer and stronger. When you see people hating on you, whether it's on social media or in real life, take it as a sign that you're doing something right. The more they hate, the better you should feel because it means you're making an impact. It might be people you know well, even your own family, who don't want to see you succeed because they're afraid of being outshined. At the end of the day, some people won't support you, not because of anything you've done, but because your success makes them feel smaller. But don't let that stop you. Keep going, keep shining, and use their negativity as the energy to propel you even further. Some folks out there, they're just not willing to take the risks you're ready to take. They're cool with where they're at, sitting in their comfort zone, and they can't handle the heat that comes with stepping out and chasing something bigger. So instead of backing you up or cheering you on, they might start talking behind your back. They might even secretly hope you fail, because deep down, they don't want to face the fact that you're the one destined for success, not them. See, you know deep inside that you're meant for something greater. You've got that fire in you, that drive that keeps you pushing forward even when things get rough. And that's why your journey isn't easy. It's tough because it's shaping you into something stronger, something more powerful. Every challenge you face is like a workout for your spirit, making you tougher, smarter, and ready to lead others when the time comes. So while they're sitting back, staying comfortable, and maybe even throwing shade your way, you're out there doing the hard work, facing those challenges head on. And all that struggle, it's preparing you for the greatness that's coming your way. You're not just on a path to success, you're on a path to become a leader, someone who can guide others because you've been through the fire and came out stronger on the other side. You know there are always going to be people out there who don't want to see you win. It's just the way it is. They might even go out of their way to bring you down, talk behind your back, or just flat out ignore your hustle. But here's the thing you gotta remember, all that negativity, it's not just random, it's a test, a test of your strength, your determination, and your ability to keep moving forward no matter what gets thrown your way. The more you face that negativity, the stronger you're gonna get. It's like working out. Every time you lift a little more weight, you're building muscle. Same goes for your life. Every time you push through the hate, the doubt, the obstacles, you're building up your resilience, your toughness. And you know what? That's bringing you closer and closer to your goals. So let them hate, let them talk, let them try to bring you down all that energy they're throwing your way. You can flip it and use it to fuel your drive. It's like adding wood to a fire. The more they throw at you, the bigger your fire burns. That's what's pushing you toward your dreams, faster and stronger. And don't forget to be thankful for those challenges. I know it sounds crazy, but those tough times are shaping you into the person you're meant to be. They're making you wiser, tougher, more focused. That's why you're in the position you are right now, moving steadily on your path to greatness. You're not just surviving, you're thriving, and that's something to be proud of. So keep going, keep pushing, and don't let anything or anyone stop you. You've got what it takes to make it, no matter what comes your way. And hey, if you ever need a little extra inspiration, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm here to keep you motivated and help you stay on track every step of the way. Keep grinding and I'll see you at the top.